is California crust pizza. It's roasted vegetable and you can find this at Costco. Alright, so we're going to use my pizza. I don't know what that thing is called, but we're going to use that that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And of course, this is going to make it keto friendly. Um, But I suggest this probably be your only meal because it's 27 grams of carbs. Minus the two grams of dietary fiber. Wow. Wow. All right, anyway, let's get two of them in the container. And even though I'm going to use this wooden thing, because I know it sticks, I'm going to spray it. So I like a little extra stuff on there. So I'm going to take some pepperoni and some Canadian bacon and put it on the pizza. Now, it's frozen with ice, too. Here's what it looks like going in. I've added some Canadian bacon and pepperoni. And I washed mine off for some weird reason. I just feel like I need to. And I added some cheese and even some seasoning. And now I'm going to bake it for still the same amount, 425, for about 18 minutes. So after baking this for 20 minutes, here's what we have on it. Um, this is the Costco cauliflower pizza. And you can definitely pick it up at your local Costco store. And this is your girl SJ here wanting to share this to you. Real beauty, real food, and real life. And thanks for watching. And please, don't forget to like this. If you really like these kind of things, please hit that like button and comment below. What would you add to this pizza to make it complete? So just so you know, the pizza came out good. I liked it. Um, I added a, just a little bit of Parmesan on top because I love cheese. Came out really good. I made a happy plate. So don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think you would add it to your pizza to make it even better. And it's still within the keto guidelines. Although the carb is up there, so 